So today I'm reviewing one of my favorite carry-on backpacks for one by travel. And as the name implies, the only way to review it is by traveling. So, I've been using this backpack as my main carry-on for a couple of months now, and it's been a pleasure to travel with it. The capacity is 30 liters, which is plenty enough to bring some clothes and a few accessories. The look is very simple, very minimal. I really like this boxy shape. The logo is just behind, it's very subtle, and it's made out of recycled plastic, they call it the RPET. Very interesting because PAC is trying to be very conscious with the packaging and all the materials on their products. And it has these high quality YKK zippers, so it's a pleasure to open the back and that's what we're gonna do now because I'm gonna show you one of the main features of this back so as you can see it opens in half completely wide like a clamshell style and it has two compartments so we're gonna start with this one like this nylon material this is where you're gonna put your laptop so it's gonna be the laptop here and it's plenty enough for a 13 14 and maybe like a 15 size too and it has this area over here so if this back fall, it will never hit the laptop because the laptop's only gonna be till here. Then if I open this part, it will have lots, lots of space to put some of your clothes. But before we do that, let's talk about the packing cubes. They're made of nylon ripstop and they have this handle if you wanna just move them around and they're visible so you can see what you have there. And they're so thin. We have the medium size, we have small size we have some shoe compartment and this one that uh, I don't know exactly what to use it for but to be honest when I bought the set I got confused and I bought the set for the other backpack it's called the pack one so include this black one but if you buy for the travel backpack includes two of these small ones so the way that I use it is that I have my tops in one of the medium size my bottoms in one of the other medium size all my boxers and socks are in the small one. This one I'm using is just to bring other accessories. And of course, my sandals and shoes are in, are in the shoe compartment. So here's where I put all my tops. So one of the packing cubes that have all the shirts, I put it down below here. It also has a mesh in both sides of this compartment. And what I do usually, I just put my towel from Matador. So, it is the perfect size just to put it there. The small size packing cube with my boxers and stuff like that, I put it in this side. And then I have here my uh, jacket that is all packable jacket from Western Rice. And it has enough space to put it here. And I want to show you why later, it's very important. But let's close this first. And now we're gonna talk about the other side of the compartment. This, I like this one because it's just mesh. And what I like to do here is just to put some accessories like my Western Rice Bursa hat. So I just put everything here so I can just see them and it's very easy just to take this out, you know? And here's where I put my bottoms, as you can see. The packing cube for my uh, pants and stuff like that, shorts. It's gonna be here down below. And then I put my shoe compartment over here. And there's this area over here that you can put something like small. I like to put like a, a packable mat that I have from Marador and I just close it down. On the side of the backpack, you have these two handles that if you want to use it as a brief mode, it's very easy to do that. And also in the bottom, there's one, another handle that you can use it more like if you want to carry this one, you know, what to put it on the upper compartment of the airplane, you can just even do some deadlift with this backpack, you know? It also comes with these accessory straps so you can connect either on the sides or either on the front, whatever you want. And you can put, you know, like a yoga mat or like a tripod. It has these small handles, you can clip it. It's very interesting and very strong, to be honest. It also has a water bottle compartment over here on the left side. So it's plenty enough to put, for example, this Hydra pack, but all the way here, and even there's this small clip that you can use a carabiner, carabiner like here, just to clip it up. Now let's talk about the front compartments. There's two big ones over here, the one at the bottom. I like to put, for example, this Minal toolkit, some of my, uh, you know, chargers and, 
and so stuff like that. I also like to put the accessory straps here when I don't need them. And then we have the top front that is very spacious. So I like to put a few things. So first I put my field notes because there's enough space to put some notes over here, maybe a pen. I didn't bring this time. Also my sunglasses can be, be there, can be there. So I just put it over there. And then I have enough space to put my Nintendo Switch all the way on the bottom of this top front. And even more space to put all my cables, which is just like the main cables that I use all the time. So on the back side, there's also a few interesting things. There's this uh, bottom compartment, uh, they call it a TSA. So you can put, for example, your passport, things like that. Just put it over here. And once you go to the security, just leave it there and you can just go faster, you know, it's very interesting. So you just put it back, it's a little bit tight, but uh, yeah, it works. There's a little bit of a mesh here for your back when you're carrying this for a long time, so it's not that bad. And it also has this luggage pass through. On the top of the back, there's also this thing that they call the secret stash. It's like a little bit hard to get in, but that's the, the whole goal. And what I usually carry here, it's like some cash that I need sometimes. And my air tag is over here too. An interesting thing is that these shoulder straps, you can actually remove them or hide them. So you just unclip here and then just pop them all the way back. So now you have a hidden shoulder strap. And these waist pads are really interesting. They're thin for a reason. It's because you can take this one out so if you take it out, it becomes a sleeping bag and it has a, it's enough space to put anything that you want, like the phone, for example. I can just put my phone. I'm not a big fan of sleeping bags, to be honest, but this could be a perfect excuse to try them. Also, Tom from Pack Hacker keep insisting that I should get one, so he should be proud by now. On the top, there's an area that has this waterproof material, as you can see here. And here's where I usually put my toiletry. We have here, before I forget, the middle side, and it's so easy, for example, just to take your laptop if you want to, because we know where we put it. So you see, it's so easy to take it out if you want to do quick work. And then on the back, remember that I told you that I put my packable jacket. So I just take it out here. And it's also very easy, like if it gets cold, boom, I just take this one out. And it's from the clothing company Western Rice. And I totally recommend everything that I have. Basically, all my wardrobe is from them. This is the airlock hooded jacket. So, like, it's really easy to pack and unpack. And there you go. Like, it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna put the links in the description. And I'm also gonna give you a 15% discount for every time you buy any of these products. Okay. Let's carry on with the review. There's other interesting accessories that pack sells. One of them, it's a rain cover. The backpack itself, they call it water resistant. Like if you drop some little bit of droplets of water, it will be fine. But if, if there's a heavy rain in Southeast Asia or something like that, you will need a rain cover. And there you go, like that was easy. Just put it on. Yeah, not that bad. The other thing is the packable tote bag. And I've been using it especially if I go to the supermarket. It becomes this size, very small. But once you open it up, as you can see here, this like nice, nice tote bag. And then I can easily hide these accessories somewhere, or somewhere over here. Let's say you put the rain cover on the waterproof part and then the tote bag in this front. So now I can pick it up and show you how it looks. So first we put clip the waist pads and then we clip this sternum strap. And there's also some load lifters on the back. So you can, you can just bring the weight all the way up. So for the looks when carrying, I mean, you can be the judge, but as I said, this boxy shape is pretty cool, pretty sleek. The shoulders are okay for a long walk. So yeah, I think it, it does look nice. So the backpack was made in collaboration with Chase Reap, which is a YouTuber who reviews backpacks. And it's also someone that I've inspired ever since he was making websites and then running Fizzle.co. But it's really cool to see the companies now, they're collaborating with YouTubers. I actually wanted to make this review a long time ago, but in one of my travels, the backpack was stolen. So I didn't have it for a couple of months, but then I had it back again and I just realized how much I missed it. I've been using it so many places already. I even hiked once in uh, Patagonia in Argentina, so it was really fun to just take this backpack 
all the way to, to the top of the mountains. The packing cubes, they're like one of the newest additions of pack. You don't have to buy them if you don't want to. I also try other packing cubes from other companies like Minal and Peak Design. They actually fit very well in some of the compartments. And lastly, don't forget that I have reviews of other backpacks like the Minal Carry-On, the Peak Design Travel Backpack, and I'm also getting another ones eventually. But if you like this one, also put, I'm gonna put the links in the description down below to get the backpack, to get the packing cubes, or all the accessories. I hope you like this video, and if you get the backpack, let me know. All right, see you in the next one. Yeah.